We are now honored to be joined by CDC Director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today and share your overall thoughts on public health. I'm so delighted to be here. So what do you see for the year ahead in public health? To start, I'm just looking forward to us turning the corner on this pandemic, increasing the number of people who get vaccinated, including soon, I hope, our children, so we can get back to school, get back to work, and get our life back to the way we it used to be. Um, I'm really looking forward to the results of the work we are starting to do in rebuilding our public health infrastructure so that we can be prepared for any pandemics and for public health in the future. And I'm really excited to see what this year will bring as we begin to focus on that and see the results of this huge investment that we've made in $7.4 billion for the American Rescue Plan to recruit and hire the public health workers that we've needed to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic, but also to prepare us for our public health um, challenges of the future. And along with combating COVID-19, what is your top priority to improve the public's health? You know, when I became CDC director, I came as a practicing physician treating patients who had to make impossible choices between filling prescriptions and putting food on their plates. So I've witnessed firsthand the impact of health inequities on individuals and families who had little or no access to regular care. Um, so really importantly, um, health equity is going to be something that we are going to address not only for the COVID-19 pandemic, but um, for all of public health. What will it take for the public to gain confidence in science as well as the CDC once again. Um, we are making huge strides in that, I hope. The people at CDC are truly dedicated, hardworking individuals who care deeply about the health and safety of um, the public and of all Americans and truly of all people around the world. Um, they are up tirelessly working long hours, day and night, um, and you will never know their names and you will never know the hard work that they are doing. So my focus is to have science lead the way and to ensure transparency. Um, it's critically important that we not only use that science to inform policy, but then to communicate that as a critical intervention to save lives and communicate it clearly to the public. We are nearly two years into this pandemic now. Is there anything that you would like to share with the public health workforce? Absolutely. First, I want to share my gratitude and acknowledge this huge and heavy, unprecedented burden that has um, impacted our our public health workforce. Um, and I want to say to them, and I've said this to many in the public health field already, thank you for staying and enduring the course, for doing all that you have done during really trying times. So please do not neglect yourselves. Um, we will get through this together, and I am so grateful for your sticking through it. We are with you 100%. APHA is about to mark its 150th anniversary. How has APHA impacted you specifically? And looking forward, is there anything that you hope APHA will tackle? Collaboration is just critically important during these challenging times. So first, I just want to thank APHA, congratulate them, um, thank them for being an exceptional partner, congratulate them on this incredible anniversary. Um, the, the success of APHA is the success of CDC. Our, all ships rise in this. And I just want to um, say that I hope that we can continue battling our common foes together, um, whether they are in infectious diseases, firearm violence, opioid epidemic, health inequality, mental health. Um, we are in this together with you. Congratulations and happy anniversary. Dr. Walensky, once again, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm.